everyone. Welcome to the first episode here on the BQHD Development channel. My name is Noodles. I am the creator of this channel. Today we are going to be looking at how to install Eclipse, how to install Java JDK, and how to get your build path set up for your first ever Minecraft Java version plugin or Spigot plugin. So we're going to start by doing this today. Um, the first thing you want to do is go to this website, getbucket.com.org, slash download, slash spigot, and pick the version you want to be coding in. For our tutorial, we'll be coding in version 1.8, and all you want to do is press download, and download the file. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so we got the, down the file downloaded here. All we have to do is, from this page, you can close out of this now. You just want to keep this on your desktop or somewhere where you're going to be able to find it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new folder on my desktop called Plugin Tutorials. There we go. There we go. We got a Plugin Tutorials folder. We're going to wait for that to download. In the meantime, we're going to come over here to this website. All the links to the websites you're going to need are going to be in the description of this video. So you can go ahead and check those out by clicking any of the links in the description that are in the top of the description under this video. And if you do need support with anything you go over in this video, or if anything's not working for you or anything, you can go ahead and go to our support plugin Discord, which is down in the description as well. So, once you're on this page, I'm going to be using Java 8 for this tutorial. The newest one is Java 9, though for this plugin tutorial, Java 9 doesn't really have that many changes that we need for Java, and most of Minecraft is still on one point on Java 8. So we're going to be sticking to Java 8 for this tutorial. What you want to do is you want to accept the license, Find your Windows version, and all you have to do is press download. Once you download it, just go through the normal Java install process. Everything will be good, and then you're good to go. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to reinstall it. Though, all you have to do is do the default settings, or put it to a folder you wish, and go ahead. Now that our spigot jar is downloaded, we're just going to throw it in the plugins tutorial video uh, folder. And you're going to go over to this website called eclipse.org. You go ahead and download whatever the newest version is. It could say this. It could say something. I am using Eclipse, um, just the default version of Eclipse that was from a while ago. But you can you can download Oxygen. All of it works. It doesn't matter what version you have. It's going to be the exact same thing. So what you're going to do is you're going to press download. Download this. Go through the setup process exactly like you did with the Java. And you're going to go ahead and install that. And once you're done with that, you're going to open up your Eclipse by double-clicking the Eclipse Java. I'm using Neon. You could use whatever you wish. So once you open Java, this is going to open a, uh, Once you open Eclipse, there we go. I told you. Um, once you open Eclipse, you can have only one open at a time. Um, you're going to designate a workspace. Mine is underneath Plugin Makers on my desktop, which saves all the code. What you want to do is you just want to pick a workspace for all your code to live. I would do this on a folder on your desktop or in your C drive or somewhere where you're going to remember where it is um, so you don't lose it. Now, when you open up Eclipse, you're going to see this. You're going to see like a blank page. There's going to be nothing on your left. These are your project folders. To go through your default setup for your project, you just want to go over here to File, New, Java Project. You're going to name it. This is going to be Tutorial 1. I'm going to use the default location. You'll set this up on your set. You can set what Java version you want to do. We are doing Java 1.8. You can use it a, like a uh, just one version of Java 1.8, or you can do the default. You don't have to worry about this. You can do create separate folders. I would do this. You could always do this. It's just personal preference. Then all you have to do is press finish. Wait for it to load, and there we go. We got it loaded up. Then you're going to see something like this. This is just your default folder area. Let me make this a little bigger for you guys. You're going to see something like this. You're going to see our little tutorial thing down here. What you want to do is you want to click the SRC folder, which stands for source. Click this new Java package at the top of the screen, and you want to name this something. I'm going to name it me.noodles.tutorial1. Enter. There you go. That is our package name. Now we want to create a main class for our plugin. All you have to do is create a class, go click your package, go up to create new Java class, and name it new, you, you can name it whatever you want, I'm just going to name it main for this tutorial. Now, 
you can see when we did that, we now have the main class in here. We're going to get into how to add a startup plugin in the next tutorial. I'm just going to show you how to make Minecraft or Spigot jar go into your build path so you can code using it. So what you want to do is you want to come down here over to the left to where it is your project. You want to right click tutorial one, go up to build path and configure build path. This is you're going to have this folder. You will have this in here already. You don't want to mess with that. All you want to do is come over to the right, press add external jar, go to wherever you downloaded your spigot jar from where I downloaded it on my desktop under this plugin tutorial folder. Click it, plus open, go down to apply, and click OK. You are done. You've imported Minecraft into your build path, and now all of the spigot um, API is in your plugin. Now you can start creating your plugin, which we'll get into in tutorial number two in next in the next video on how to create a simple plugin with just one command. Thank you so much for watching. If you do need support, please remember to join our plugin support discord. You can find the link into the description of this. We will help you out with your code. We also have a lot of um, plugins that I do support in that discord for. You can find them all in the description under my plugins folder. And you can also talk to some of our other developers who work with me for everything. We also have a custom support bot that can answer almost any question you have just by a simple type of the command of dash info, and you can find all the commands and everything about the server which you need to do. I will have a, by the time you are seeing this video, I will have a code support uh, chat where you could ask support for your code or ask support for your plugin for anything you see in the plugin tutorial on here. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe, and I will be probably doing weekly videos. I don't know how often I'm going to be uploading, but I'm hoping to do weekly videos on how to make plugins. Episode 2, which will be coming out soon, will be how to make a simple plugin and how to actually register it and put it on enable and plugin.yml and everything. This was just a tutorial to get you started. So thank you so much for watching. We will see you in episode number 2.